We've had over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. Looks like Ford sent us a Bronco Raptor to drive. We did do a full week road test on this, getting the performance of Hill County numbers, but for this video, we're going to do headlight test and night drive only. It looks like a pretty simple setup here. So let's take out in the dark and see what happens. For $80,000, I would expect a good set of lights, but then again, they're the same headlights you see on the $30,000 Bronco, so guess we'll know soon enough how they work. Now we turn out the lights on the outside. We can turn on the lights on the vehicle and see how they perform. And here's what we're going to see on the rear. Triangle. And here are the emergency lights. I see they're integrated in the tail lights. Interesting arrangement. Have a yellow circle around the main headlight for the emergency lights. That's something new. But turning off the headlights, yeah, now we can really see it. Very strong. And the rear, definitely bright. Put the transmission reverse, and this is what we see. Lights up pretty good in the dark. Let's see what this does. Rear only. Okay. Inch cluster looks pretty good in the dark. We can see the shift knob for the four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive system. Moving up, you cannot see the shift points on the transmission stick. They do not light up, but they do on the gauge, so you'll never be confused about what gear you're in. Now let's get to the headlights, and we're pretty high off the ground, so I suspect the lights should be high off the ground, and they're definitely above the bushes. That's good. Let's go to high beam. Strong in the middle. Not much of a spread. These are not the most potent bulbs I've ever seen. Uh, I would say above average. Nothing fantastic, but they'll do. So let's look along the dark, dingy street. And right now I have the low beams on. Turn the lights up. Low beams back on. High beams on. Again, strong down the middle. If you watch my videos, one thing I cannot stand on the vehicle are auto dimming mirrors. One thing I do not want to do is drive in heavy city traffic with a blacked out mirror. It's not safe. It's dangerous. So if you give me a switch to turn it off, I'm happy, but apparently we don't have a switch to turn off the auto dimming mirror. On some vehicles you can do it by programming the computer system, but I can't find any way to do it. And since this is a prototype vehicle, I don't have an owner's manual, so apparently an auto dimming mirror is what I'm getting. I'll just have to live with it. Although you can turn them off by putting a piece of tape over the sensor hole. I'll have to try that perhaps. So let's see how these lights light up the freeway signs. High beam, low beam. And down the ways, lights up. Okay, let's do the dark, dingy street test. Low beam. High beam. Looks pretty decent to me. Still got the Christmas lights up, and it's almost February. Oh well. Not the most fantastic headlights I've ever seen, but more than adequate, I would say very good plus. It passed. And that concludes our night drive. You want to see the full test. Link's coming up. And subscribe. I need the gas money to feed this monster and others like it.